The universe has sent your guardian angels to have a heart-to-heart -heart with you about something quite extraordinary. Recently, someone in your life came across an old picture of you where you looked completely different, and now they're trying to understand why you changed your appearance. This person hasn't been in your life for a very long time, so they weren't present at the time. They are surprised by the stark difference between the old you and the present you. They're curious about what led to this change. Type Amen to claim this message and the blessings inside for your own. Try and leave a positive comment for other viewers who might need a positivity boost in their day. Act now and sow into this word. Sow according to what you need and want God to do in your situation. If you have faith to give $10,000, you have faith to receive $1 million. Your angel repeats that they're trying to understand why you changed your appearance. From this person's experience, physical changes to person's appearance often either follow or precede major life events. The canvas of someone's life is painted with moments that define who they are and how they present themselves to the world like strokes on a masterpiece. These events can usher in huge transformations in both one's inner self and their outward look. That's why the difference in your appearance first catch this person's attention. In this photograph, they saw a version of you that was seemingly worlds apart from the person they now knew. Naturally, that got them curious about what kind of major event you could have gone through that led to such a drastic transformation. In moments of struggle that you find yourself at, a crossroads, a turning point that can lead to profound change. Your journey took such a turn, and it was nothing short of divine intervention. There was a pivotal moment when you realized that you couldn't continue down the same path. The circumstances and challenges you faced had pushed you to the edge, and you knew that something had to give. It was during this struggle that you had a profound encounter with faith, a divine promise. This encounter opened your eyes to the immense power of self-discovery and spiritual growth. Your hope in sharing this with him is to inspire him to embark on their own path of self-discovery and positive change. It's a call to action, a reminder that you have the strength and potential within you to create your own remarkable story. They couldn't help but wonder whether this was the result of a beautiful experience, or if it had been born from the depths of a challenging and trying ordeal. Could it have been the bliss of newfound love or the arrival of an important individual that radiated joy and positivity? Or maybe it was the resolve born from overcoming adversity, or perhaps was the transformation a result of both for adversity, often leads to growth and moments of joy inspire change that might be difficult. Whatever the cause, they now find themselves burning with questions and a desire to understand. While you are under no obligation to satisfy their curiosity, your guardian angels would like to encourage you to consider telling this person what happened to lead you to such a change? Their curiosity isn't meant to be intrusive or violate your privacy in any way, but rather it is born out of a genuine desire to understand you better and connect with you on a deeper level. Instead, try to welcome this as an opportunity to forge a genuine connection and possibly a chance for this person to learn and grow thanks to you. The Father says today, allow generosity of spirit to flow through you today like water. I live on the inside of you. Give me room to move in and through you to others. Love unconditionally. Give lavishly. Forgive unreasonably. Love, give, and forgive until your love scandalizes the small-minded religious professors whose love has grown cold. Reach out to the undeserving and those who haven't loved you back. Let your testimony toward them be, I am going to love you and there is nothing you can do about it. This is the audacity of love, says the Father. Men can place restriction and constraints upon you, 
But the nature of love is to break out and flow out to the lowest common denominator of relationship and expectation. Love is a spiritual geography to itself that is alien to failure or defeat. So export all your hopes, dreams, and petitions to the geography of love. For that is where faith's fullest measure spontaneously gives substance to every vision and dream born in your heart by my incorruptible seed. Today, the Father's message resonates like a gentle breeze, urging us to open the floodgates of generosity that dwell within our spirit. He reminds us that His divine essence resides within us, ever ready to flow out into the world. It's an invitation to love unconditionally, give without restraint, and forgive beyond reason. Our love is not bound by conditions or expectations, and this boundless love may baffle those with limited, cold hearts. The Father calls us to extend our love to the undeserving, even to those who haven't reciprocated our affections. Our testimony toward them is audacious. I will love you, and there's nothing you can do to stop it. It's a declaration that resounds with the audacity of love itself. This is the nature of love, says the Father. While the world may impose restrictions and limitations, love knows no boundaries. It defies the constructs of human relationships and expectations, and it surges forth even to the least deserving. Love exists in a spiritual realm of its own, untouched by failure or defeat. Therefore, we are encouraged to transfer our hopes dreams, and deepest desires to the landscape of love. In this sacred space, faith takes root, giving substance to every vision and dream, sown within our hearts by the incorruptible seed of the Creator. In this expansive outlook, we discover that love is an inexhaustible reservoir, an eternal spring that continually renews itself. It's a reminder that Within the geography of love, there are no limitations, no disappointments, and no defeats. So, let's heed the Father's call, allowing the generosity of our spirits to flow like a river of love, quenching the parched hearts of those we encounter. In this audacious outpouring of love, we may witness the miraculous as faith takes hold and turns our dreams and visions into tangible realities now, this raises an important question, what will you do with this revelation? Your guardian angels have gone out of their way to share this celestial message with you. Could it be a sign that you're stepping into a new, even more impactful chapter of your own journey? And if so, are you ready for it? You've already accomplished so much just by being you, but this could be the universe's way of preparing you for even greater things. If you've listened to this message and felt a resonance know that it's no mere coincidence. The universe doesn't make mistakes. Every step you've taken and every challenge you've faced has led you to become this inspiring figure. Isn't it incredible how life's puzzle pieces fit together to create this amazing picture? Others, too, are poised to be touched by your radiant energy as you continue on your journey. May your guardian angels guide you towards endless opportunities to shine even brighter. Now listen to this prayer as it holds divine blessings and essence. O oh Lord, as I lift my voice to you in prayer, I am awestruck by your majesty and the magnificence of your creation. From the vastness of the cosmos to the intricate beauty of the smallest living beings, your handiwork is evident everywhere I look. I stand in awe of your power and wisdom, and I am humbled by the privilege of being in your presence. Heavenly Father, I am aware of the challenges and adversities that surround us in this world. The enemies of our souls seek to undermine our faith, disrupt our lives, and lead us away from your loving embrace. 
I implore you, Lord, to shield us from these malevolent forces, to place a hedge of protection around us, and to grant us the strength to stand firm in the face of adversity. Guard our hearts, minds, and spirits against the schemes of the enemy, and let your light dispel all darkness. Father, I long for spiritual progress and growth in my journey with you. As I traverse the path of faith, I yearn for a deeper relationship with you, a greater understanding of your word, and a heart that overflows with love for you and for others. May your Holy Spirit be my constant guide, illuminating the scriptures and revealing the profound truths contained within. Grant me the wisdom to discern your will and the courage to follow it. Lord, your word tells us that if anyone lacks wisdom, they should ask you, the generous giver, and it will be given to them. I come before you now, seeking the precious gift of wisdom. In a world filled with noise and confusion, help me to discern your voice amidst the clamor. Grant me the wisdom to make choices that align with your will and that lead me closer to your perfect plan for my life. Heavenly Father, in a world marked by turmoil and unrest, I earnestly seek your peace and serenity. Let your presence be a calming balm to my weary soul and grant me the strength to remain steadfast in my faith. May your peace which surpasses all understanding, guard my heart and mind in Christ Jesus. In the midst of life's storms, help me to find solace in your abiding love. Lord, your word assures us that you are a lamp to our feet and a light to our path. I beseech you for guidance and direction in every aspect of my life. Lead me in the way that is pleasing to you and reveal your divine purpose for my existence. Illuminate the path before me and grant me the courage to follow it, trusting in your unfailing guidance. Father, there are times when life's challenges seem insurmountable and my strength falters. In those moments, I turn to you, the source of all strength and endurance. Fill me with your might and let your grace be sufficient for me. Help me to soar on wings like eagles, to run and not grow weary, to walk and not faint. May I find renewed strength in you each day. Lord, you are the great healer, capable of mending broken hearts, bodies, and spirits. I lift up to you those who are in need of your healing touch. Whether the ailment is physical, emotional, or spiritual, I trust in your power to bring about restoration and wholeness. May your healing hand be upon those who suffer, bringing comfort, relief, and renewed vitality. Heavenly Father, I am acutely aware of my imperfections and my need for your forgiveness and grace. I come before you with a contrite heart, confessing my sins and shortcomings. I ask for your mercy to wash over me, cleansing me from all unrighteousness. Grant me the ability to extend forgiveness to others as I have received it from you. Lord, you are the provider of all our needs and your storehouses are never empty. I place before you my concerns and needs, trusting in your abundant provision. Whether it is material, emotional, or spiritual, I trust in your faithfulness to supply all that is required. May your blessings overflow in my life and in the lives of those I love. Father, I yearn for the fruits of the Spirit to flourish within me, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. May these attributes be evident in my interactions with others, reflecting your divine nature and drawing people closer to you. Transform my character, Lord, and make me a vessel of your love. Heavenly Father, your word encourages us to live in unity and harmony with one another. I lift up to you our relationships, both within our families and among our friends and communities. 
May the bonds of love and fellowship be strengthened and may your peace reign in our hearts. Let our interactions be marked by grace, compassion, and understanding. Lord, your heart aches for the lost and the broken, and so does mine. I lift up to you those who have not yet experienced the transformative power of your love. May your spirit draw them near, open their hearts to your truth, and bring them into your fold. Use me as an instrument of your love, that I may share your gospel and be a beacon of hope to those in need. Father, in a world that often clamors for more, I pray for a heart of gratitude and contentment. Help me to recognize and appreciate the countless blessings that surround me each day. May I find joy in the simple pleasures of life and contentment in your presence, knowing that you are the source of true fulfillment. Lord, I join my prayers with those who seek the peace of Jerusalem, a city that holds immense significance in your divine plan. I pray for the safety and well-being of its inhabitants and for the resolution of conflicts that persist in the region. May your peace, which transcends all understanding, extend to the land where your chosen people dwell. Heavenly Father, I recognize the allure of temptation and the frailty of human nature. I beseech you to deliver me from the snares of temptation and to grant me the strength to resist its enticements. Let your word be a lamp to my feet, guiding me.